Don't go anywhere. You didn't go through all this just to leave now. Skip to my Lou, my darling. Hi guys, it's Lou. Today we're gonna do highlights. Now, my very first video on YouTube ever was root touch-up highlights with a knife. Now, I got asked by many of you to do the regular highlights, and I'm happy to do that today, although it's a lot more complicated than the root touch-up highlights, and I'll put that link down below in case you are successful with these regular highlights and you just need a root touch-up, which is usually the case and the ingredients that we need today is different than just the facial hair lightening cream that I used on that first video okay let's start with the lightening powder I use BW just because I've seen a lot of salons using it and I thought why not this is the developer that you mix with the lightening powder this is 40 it's really high I'm using it today because that's all I've got this is gonna lighten your hair very fast here's the bowl you're gonna need to mix those two in here's the brush you're gonna need to brush that stuff on your hair here's the foils that you're gonna need you do not need a big box like this you can buy a little packet of maybe 20 or 30 of them from Sally Beauty and they cost perhaps four or five dollars and also to tell you the truth you don't need it this big either they have a little packet and these they have smaller bottles so I just have these big sizes because I do a couple people's hair a couple times a month I do not do my hair that often because I just need root touch-ups but today I'm going to do it just for you lastly look see this comb a magic comb it's got a metal handle and very fine tooth so don't forget to go one of these and I think if you buy all of this stuff at Sally it's gonna cost you maybe 25 to 30 dollars which is much less than the 120 to 250 dollars that you're gonna spend on highlights so let's get started I can't stress to you enough like in my first video and when I say my first video I mean my first video very first. You gotta have dirty hair. The oils and natural goo that your scalp produces protects your hair. Try to have dirty hair of at least like two days. That's what I've got right now. I'd like it dirtier, but it's not. Okay, first I'm gonna show you my middle part, which I do not need done right now because I already did it. I did the root highlights on that. But, uh-oh, uh-oh, here it comes. What the heck? What? who definitely needs some highlighting okay what you're gonna want to do and I'm gonna do this off camera just because it's a lot easier you're gonna want to start with your developer and your lightning powder and you want to do equal parts of both so I'm gonna do that right now okay I'm gonna try to do this as close up as possible you take the back of your comb and just weave in and out and don't take too much because you really don't need a lot. Okay, see? And you pick it up, give it a pinch, bring it up. And what I like to do personally is kind of comb it the other way because I like to get right under there and get the roots. Roots are very important to me. I don't ever like my roots to show. Take your piece of foil and fold it over your comb so that the fold, see? Got it? The fold is on the inside take your piece of foil that's folded over your comb and butt it up pretty hard to your hair and pull down and push up at the same time now you're going to pull your comb out and there's all the hair that you're going to highlight see it okay then you take some of this goo on the brush just a little i'm just going to dab a little now what you do is you just brush a good amount from the roots down right and so the whole purpose of this is for full length highlights not just roots take the rest of your hair and just kind of pile it right there in a circle and get a little bit more of your mixture and paint that as well it's fun paint 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 there it's all covered did I mention you should probably wear gloves wear gloves and a white shirt because this may drip on your clothing and it will cause a bleach stain. If it gets on your hands, it'll bleach your skin. So use gloves, do not do what I do. So now that you've got all the hair on the foil, you take the foil and you just fold it over. And then you fold it over again because you're gonna do more. And then you flip it, flip. 
So now you've got it on the other side of your head. It looks like you've got a zigzag mark there. And so what you're gonna do next, you don't wanna immediately get another piece to foil. You wanna take your comb, get a line of hair and flip it to the other side. Cause you don't wanna highlight that. It looks more natural when you don't highlight too much. So instead of clipping this over, what I do is I take the foil that's already there and I flip it over to hold on to it for me. Now you've got a straight line and now you're gonna do your next highlight. And I'll do it one more time for you guys, that's it. Here we go again. So I'm gonna just put my hand here, I'm gonna take the comb and I'm gonna go in and out softly, not too much. Take that bit of hair right there, bring it up. Doesn't look like much, but it's gonna look good once you're done. Take your foil. You can fold these ahead of time, which probably would have been the smart thing to do, but I don't do smart things. Okay, so I'm folding it over my comb again, like so. Get in there, push it up and pull it down. Hold it hard against your head. There's what you're gonna be highlighting. Take the stuff on your brush, comb from the roots down. Bring up the rest of the hair length, dip your brush again, and just give it a little go over. Make sure that it's all covered and take your foil, fold it once, twice, and if you're gonna continue, flip it over. And I'm gonna do this part for you again, just so you can see. So I flipped it over and you've got the zigzaggy look again. I'm just gonna take this comb. See, that's why you need this comb. It's magic and just get that little section of hair, flip it over. and either clip it, which is probably the right thing to do, but I just take my foil and have it hold it. Because it's there, that's why. I'm not gonna do any more, but if you were to continue, you would go down the rest of the way and get her done. And you wanna do the other side of your head. I'm gonna just part it in the middle. And you can flip everything over and start anew on this side. It's good stuff. I've had some questions on how to get the back of your hair. And that is a super tough one because, you know, I don't know. Unless you can have a mirror right here and you can look in a mirror, I think it can be done. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna wait about five to eight minutes only because the developer is such a high number. And again, I suggest you use 30 so it doesn't go so fast. But if you're just gonna do, you know, maybe two foils on each side, one in the back, just so you get that summer highlights. You can use 40 if you're fast. Okay, I'm gonna put in a little disclaimer here. I am not a professional hairdresser whatsoever. I learned how to do this by watching my hairdresser three times and taking notes and just paying particular attention to detail. Now, if you're gonna try this yourself, great, but be careful, it is, chemicals they are strong it will bleach your fingers it will bleach your clothing wear white watch out for your carpet and kind of do some research on developers and how fast they work and what you should use those sally beauty people usually know their stuff so tell them that you're doing it yourself and they will equip you with what you need. Okay, I'm gonna let this cook and I will be right back. Another thing to remember is how dark your hair is to begin with. If you want blonde highlights and you have dark hair, you may have to do this twice or you may have to use the 40 developer and wait a while. You may even have to blow dry it and make these foils hot. That'll lighten it a little bit faster. But I'm gonna check on these now because it's been about 10 minutes because I've been just yapping. So let's unfold this bad boy. So see, here's the hair that's in the middle that we did not bleach. Here's the hair on top. Look, it's blonde already. Let's get closer. Okay, so. Just for you guys, I would not do this otherwise. What you guys are gonna do is you're gonna get in the shower and pull your foils out while you're in there. But I'm gonna show you, just for you, what this looks like. Again, wear gloves. I'm not wearing gloves and my hands are gonna end up bleached. So take a little peek. So here, see that? That is the bleached hair right there. I'm gonna check the other one. I know I only have two, but it was to show you guys how to do it. So there's that one, ow! 
freaking frack. I don't have fingernails usually, but my daughter painted mine and I let them grow and I am like cutting myself, scratching my face. I'm just not born to have fingernails. So here's the next foil. Let's open that up. Okay, see? It's blonde. Okay, I'm gonna go wash up and I will show you the results in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. You didn't go through all this just to leave now. Hey, look, I'm back. All wet. So I'm gonna take that same comb just to show you the results. When you wash your hair after bleaching it, it's always a good idea to use a good conditioner, leave it in your hair for a little bit before you rinse it out. You want your hair to stay healthy and you've just done a chemical process to it. So I'm gonna blow dry this and show you the end result so we can end this video and you can get started. Oh, it's on. Okay, you guys, it's mostly dry and these are the highlights that I got. I'm gonna get close and mind you, I don't part my hair on the left, I part it on the right. So this is virgin territory right here. Yeah, no highlights, but I think it turned out pretty well and I hope yours turns out well if you try it. I always answer questions on my videos, so feel free to leave them down below along with any comments about the video. I will put links to the root touch up highlights with a knife down below as well as all the products that i used here today if you like the video give it a thumbs up i appreciate it if you haven't already which would be crazy please subscribe click that button down below my next video is going to be involving a knife again i've said enough have a good day bye you guys